Well, hello there, friends. Guess what we're making today? Butter. <laughs> we're going to make butter from squash, friends. It's so easy, you're not going to believe it. Let me tell you, homemade butter, oh, nothing like it. You're going to make it one time, you'll never buy butter again. I promise you. What do you need to make butter? Very simple. You need cream. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. I like to use a 40%. If you can find it, it's great. Most grocery stores don't have a really high quality uh, uh, heavy whipping cream. You got to try to use at least 36% fat. If you find, find 42%, fatter it is, better it is. <laughs> Butter is good. All right, friends. So I got, um, I'm going to make a half a pound really quick so the video is not too long. We're going to uh, whip it and uh, we're going to separate the cream from the buttermilk. It's very simple. I put it in, try to have your tools fairly cold to start with. You should always really have it cold. It helps, uh, congeals the fat separated from the buttermilk. But it's so simple. A child can do it. I mean, really, a child can do this, my friend. So here's what's going to happen. When you start, you know, I'm at fairly low speed. I'm about four. Maybe I can go five. Yeah, you don't want to go much higher than that. No, no, because it's splattering too much. You don't want it to splatter. Uh, so do it slowly, and as it um, uh, turns and, and whip and whip and whip, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. We're making whipped cream, and then we're over whipping the whipped cream, and that's how we're going to turn the butter. The process is to remove the, uh, the, the milk uh, from the cream, and the cream is how we're going to make butter. And you'll see in a minute how the... Cream is going to separate from the milk, and the milk is buttermilk, so I love it. I use it in dressing, I use it in mashed potatoes, I use it in all kinds of stuff. And, uh, and the butter, <laughs> you can use it for anything you want. I promise you, you make your own butter one time, and you're not going to believe it. You can put salt in it, you can put seasoning. You know what, I make a video on, 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 on seasoned salt, flavored salt, I mean um, butter. Butter, flavored butter, and, uh, and compound butters. I'll make a video on that so we can flavor it. But in the meantime, I'm going to whip this. I'm going to go a little faster. And not to make the video too long, because I really want everybody to watch it. We are going to uh, uh, record while we're doing this, but I am going to be quiet. So, <laughs> what a surprise. I'm going to be quiet, my friends. And uh, my mom used to do that. My grandmother used to do that. But they used the churning. They did it by hand. My grandmother had this big wooden thing, like she was 100 years old. And, uh, and she would do it like this and stay in front of it and churn it. And, uh, and, and I tell you, it's, it's delicious. Friends, I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to be quiet. Okay, friends, about three minutes went by. I want you to pay attention. I can increase the speed just a little bit because you see it's much thicker. We're getting ready to get a, a whipped cream. And when you get whipped cream, it's almost like this. And if I wanted to make a beautiful whipped cream, I would probably stop now. But I'm not stopping because I'm not making whipped cream. I'm making butter. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet again. All right, friends, when you see it like that, you know you have overbeat your whipped cream, okay? If it's whipped cream you're looking for, you're done. Keep doing it. Make butter now. All right, friends, when you see it getting powdery, it's starting to get a little bit of uh, a yellowish in it. And when it starts to getting powdery, you can't be anywhere else. You got to stay with it. We probably are about five, six minutes so far. And this is when the buttermilk is about to separate from the cream. Okay, you're going to see it. I'm almost there, friends, but as you can see, there's a little bit of it that got stuck on the side of it and I don't it's not butter yet so I'm gonna put it back in there okay that's really the only thing you gotta do it's really not that big of a deal you'll know when it's about to separate friends because you can start to see the buttermilk you see the buttermilk in the bottom when you start to see that, you know it's going to happen any second, friends. You may want to reduce the speed of your mixer, otherwise it's going to fly everywhere. We got butter. We got butter. 
We got butter, friends. Voila. This is butter. You see? So now what we do, we take it out of our... Uh, A few moments later. And now we're going to take it out of there. We're going to group it together. It's got to stay cold. Very important, all this. By the way, oh yeah, I didn't tell you, but the cream has to be very cold. The equipment has to be very cold. Everything has to be very cold. And you notice right here on my right, friends, I have some, uh, push as much water as you can, as much as the buttermilk, sorry, buttermilk. Push it as much as you can. And now we are going to rinse it with the water. Because if we do not rinse it now, friends, the, um, the butter will get rinsed really fast. We have to get rid of the excess buttermilk in there. Okay? And then the beauty is when you make butter like this, friends, you can freeze it. 17 years. I don't know exactly how many years, but a lot of years. I promise you, friends. You can freeze it for a long time. So we're going to grab this chunk of butter. Then we have right there. Yeah, butter freeze is beautiful. Nothing wrong with freezing butter, friends. Nothing wrong at all. Let's make sure you don't, you have nothing left in there. Right? And this is buttermilk. So what I do with the buttermilk, friends, I strain it to a fine, fine mesh strainer. Now I'm going to take this, uh, if you don't have one of those, this is a, a, a filter you use to make juices, to make all kinds of different things. Uh, 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 fruit juice or cheese or kind of thing. Uh, if you don't have one of those, just get a cheesecloth or, or, or a bath towel. And you want to go in water and you want to wash it. You see, look, look. You see the water, friends? The butter is going to the butter milk, but this has to be cold. Otherwise, what's going to happen if it's not cold enough, friends? The, 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 the butter is going to go through your cheese cloth. I mean, if a little bit of it goes through, it's not that big of a deal. But a lot of people forget to do this. It's very important, friends. Otherwise, your butter will definitely get rancid. So, you know, I squeeze it, and the water is super cold, so I don't have to worry about it. You see? Just like this. Very simple. You know, it is really simple, right? I bet you never thought it was so simple to make butter. Nothing we do is difficult, friends. I promise you. Nothing we do as chefs is complicated. You know what? I don't have a plate. Can I get a plate by some magic? Get somebody give me a plate. Because right here, my friends, I got butter. I got beautiful butter here, my friends. Look at this. You see? Look at this, my friend. This is butter. So you can shape it. You can put it in a, uh, in a, in a beautiful container. I'm going to show you how I do it. You put it however you want it. And this is your typical half a pound of butter. And I promise you, friends, you make it one time, you're going to be amazed. And the beautiful thing is, like I said, you can flavor it however you want it to flavor it. I want to show you how I save it, my friends. You see, let me grab myself a, uh, a knife, and this is how I do it. You see, let me just, uh, let me do it here, friends, so you can see it, because it's a little watery here. But what I do is I take a, a, a container like this, and I take a little bit of parchment paper, you see, and I put it right in here. This is another half a pound, so now I have a pound of butter that I just made. And uh, you see, you can leave it in there, and certainly leave it in there, you see? And you have your beautiful butter in here, my friends. And you see? And now, all you have to do is cut it. And let me see if I can remove some of the stuff so it's not too much in your way. And right there. And you see, and, uh, and you'll find that the homemade butter, friends, than you just did is much more pale in color than the, um, the, the store-bought butter. And when it comes to comparison of flavor, it doesn't even compare, friends. It doesn't even compare. It, it's like... Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm, delicious. Mm. You may want... Oh, it's creamy. It's velvety. 
It's, it's amazing. I'm telling you, you got to try, you're going to go, oh my God. Put a touch of salt the first time you do it. But it's amazing. My friends, I hope you make it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, friends, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next few days with another fantastic video.